Back for one last adventure, Harrison Ford is supported by wife Callista Flockhard, as he joins co-star Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Carly Kloss and Gemma Chan, for the con premiere of his Indiana Jones swan song, The Dial of Destiny. Harrison Ford kickstarted the emotional swan song to his on-screen hero Indiana Jones on Thursday evening, as he attended the star-studded premiere for The Dial of Destiny, his fifth and final appearance as the swashbuckling archaeologist at the 76th Annual Con Film Festival. Supported by his wife Callista Flockhart, 58, the veteran actor, 80, graced the red carpet for the first glimpse of the much-anticipated film. Alongside his co-star Phoebe Waller-Bridge, the premiere proved to be the most popular ticket for this year's Con Festival, with a slew of glamorous beauties, including Carly Kloss and Gemma Chan, also in attendance. But while the night was all about Harrison, finding an appropriate seat at the premiere of his own film, was even harder to find than The Lost Ark. It was a rare public appearance for a couple renowned for their love of privacy, but it was marred by an awkward seating gaffe inside the Palace Day Festivals, where Ford's fifth and final offering as Indy was being screened. As they made their way inside, Callista immediately noticed she had been seated behind her husband, prompting a weak smile as she mentioned the error to a stony-faced Harrison who could be heard murmuring oh. The actor is set to reprise his role as the titular hero for the final time in the fifth Indiana Jones film. After first taking on the iconic character in 1981 in Raiders of the Lost Ark, the film, set for release on June 30th, also stars Mads Mikkelsen and Antonio Banderas, and has been directed by James Mangold. Making a rare red carpet appearance with his spouse, Harrison cut a dapper figure as he arrived for the premiere of the newest Indiana Jones film the first since 2008. His wife Callista cut a glamorous figure in a plunging black tulle gown as she arrived hand in hand with the actor. As the couple stopped to pose for snaps together, Callista beamed at her husband as they lead a slew of stars in attendance for the premiere. Harrison attended the film's premiere as he prepares to accept an honorary Palm d'Or as a tribute to his performance as Indiana. Phoebe, who stars in the film as Indiana's goddaughter, cut a glamorous figure in a bold black gown with a fishtail skirt, as she posed with the cast of the film. The Fleabag star teamed the look with matching gloves as she arrived solo for the occasion. Carly Kloss, who recently announced she was expecting her second child, showed off her growing bump in a flowing mustard yellow gown from Christian Dior, as she attended the glitzy premiere. Carly highlighted her blossoming bump in her pretty tall gown which boasted a one-shouldered neckline and a flowing train. Gemma showed off her amazing physique in a revealing red gown with a daring cutout to highlight her impressive abs. The star blew a kiss for the cameras, as she made her latest con red carpet appearance at the premiere. Styling her glossy raven tresses into loose waves, Gemma posed up a storm in her gorgeous red satin Louis Vuitton gown with a matching train as she arrived for the event. Rochelle also made a surprise appearance on the red carpet donning a jaw-dropping black fishtail gown with a plunging front. The presenter's dress boasted a stunning pearl-studded bodice with matching choker necklaces that showcased her flawless decolletage. Kat Graham also amped up the glamour at the star-studded event by slipping into a plunging black cinched mini dress from Tony Ward Couture with a bold gold sequin overlay. Reality star Zara McDermott proved to be another unlikely guest at the much-anticipated premiere of the film and she certainly didn't disappoint with her stunning look. The former Love Island star wowed in a dramatic red layered gown, with an enormous tall skirt and train, contrasting with the form-fitting matching bodice. Zara pulled her glossy brunette tresses into a voluminous ponytail, as she ensured photographers caught all angles of her beautiful gown. Model Adriana Lima showed off her incredible curves in a gorgeous black velvet gown with a yellow layered sash, flowing into a train. Charlie Heaton and his sister Levi, attended the star-studded premiere of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny at the Cannes Film Festival on Thursday. The Stranger Things star, 29, who is dating his co-star Natalia Dyer, cut a dapper figure in a black tuxedo. Charlie joined his sister and fellow actress Levi on the red carpet, 
who put on a glamorous display in a satin black slip dress. Harrison has already moved on from the franchise, taking over the Thunderbolt Ross role from the late William Hurd in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is set in the year 1969 following Ford's Indiana Jones set against the backdrop of the American space race. Jones is said to be uneasy about the American government enlisting former Nazis in their race to beat the Russians to the moon. Franchise newcomer Phoebe joins the sequel as Helena Shaw, Indy's goddaughter, along with Mads Mikkelsen as Jurgen Voller, an ex-Nazi who now works for NASA. Other newcomers include Antonio Banderas as Rinaldo, a friend of Indy, Thomas Kretschmann as Colonel Weber, Toby Jones as Basil Shaw and Boyd Holbrook as Kleber. Phoebe portrays Indiana Jones' goddaughter Helena Shaw in the movie, with filmmakers describing the character as slippery and charming. She's a mystery and a wonder Phoebe, who also stars alongside Antonio Banderas in the film Told Empire, about her character. Making the film was everything I could have hoped for, with a chance to work on my own stunts and action sequences, she added. If the script said throw yourself onto the back of a vehicle, I threw myself onto the back of a vehicle. The upcoming action film will be released June 30 and will be the final Indiana Jones movie. This is the final film in the series, and this is the last time I'll play the character. I anticipate that it will be the last time that he appears in a film. Harrison recently confirmed himself in an interview with Total Film. It was reported in November that Disney Plus was in early stages of developing an Indiana Jones TV series. Though Harrison insisted he was not involved with that either. He said he will not be involved in that. If it does come to fruition adding he's quite excited for fans to see the final indie adventure. I had been ambitious to do this film for 10 years. And there finally came a time when we all committed to that the actor admitted. It was a joyous moment for me. I think it's a rare situation that I find myself in. I've been able to deliver amazing films developed by Steven Spielberg and George Lucas over a 40-year period, and to end it not with a whimper, but a bang, has been my greatest ambition for this excursion.